So last week, Alex and I got the opportunity to represent Ireland in tag rugby after a long year of trialling and training. Alex won his category in mixed and we drew our category in ladies, which meant that Ireland secured the overall win in the series against Great Britain. (laughs) However, it didn't all go to plan. Um, I think I fractured my hand. (laughs) Look, let's just hope I didn't. Let's hope it's fine. It's fractured my hand, it's broken. It's pretty broken. Well, shit. (laughs) Going to go to the beach, I to get cheeky x-ray, seeing as the first x-ray is 25 quid. Might as well figure out if it's a sprain or a fracture. If I had to guess, I would say that judging by the way that it feels, which is, it feels totally fine until I try to lift something, I would guess that there's a hairline fracture round about here. This is why I'm not a doctor, because I did actually get it wrong. It's not a hairline fracture. It's called a boxer's fracture, which I really appreciate. She said it's when your fist is closed and you impact it here. And then she goes, I mostly see these types of fractures from boxers or people who've punched someone in the night out. And I was like, Well, I really was playing for Ireland, yes. (laughs) She checked with the specialist in another hospital if I needed to be referred for surgery. And the specialist said, definitely needs surgery. Get her back playing as quick as possible. So I love my specialist. (laughs) And yeah, look, fuck it. It's very early in the morning. We're headed to the hospital. Next time I see you, I'll have a Wolverine hand. I fight the pain. I'm going to be yeah. in Zoom. Looks good. Well, came on grand, yeah. So you're a good leader. Yeah, he's very well. He's very well. And he's played with Alex. Oh, fine, we're in the light. Hello. That went well. 5 p.m. I was thinking this morning, this is not my first rodeo, and I wore shorts underneath my trousers, but I didn't think about this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Asking to do your license, I don't want you tripping on. Oh, yeah, Alex, could you do my license, please? Thank you so much. Oh, I have to do everything. <laughs> Who has two shoes open? Only a clown. <laughs> Thank you for picking me up, Alex. I'm sorry that you had to wait two hours. No problem, Princess. So what else am I here for? <laughs> when I originally went into Swift Care to get this x-ray, my radiologist was like, were we down in UL? And I said, how did you know that? And she goes, oh, because I was watching the live stream. So she is friends. She was like, I know this person, this person, this person. And I was like, no way. And then today, the doctor guy, loads of people come to talk to you in the process of getting a surgery, so I don't actually know what what part he played in it, but he was like, oh, I played tag rugby, I played a couple of games of tag rugby, um, but just couldn't help like smashing people because like, I, because I'm a rugby player. But he goes, who did I play for? I played for, he played for Alex's team. <laughs> I was like, no fucking way. Alex like, was waiting there for me for ages and I was like, I wonder, did he call him in a little bit early so that he could meet him and see if he played with him before? Because so I was trying to describe him, I was like, he's got red hair, you know, he used to have long red hair. Oh yeah, so that was funny. Small world, small tag world. So, quick update on my hand, and it's my hand that I've hurt. It's a fifth metatarsal fracture, it's like the bone that leads into your baby finger. And it was because I closed my hand on a tag as she was driving her hips forward to avoid my hand and I basically punched her in the hip. I did feel an impact at the time but I didn't think it was serious and I just like played on. That footage that I showed you in my last vlog of me playing, I played that full game on a broken hand because I didn't realise it was broken, it actually genuinely didn't hurt at all. And it it continued to not hurt, it was one of the best injuries I've ever had. Um, until such time as I got surgery on it, put a tiny plate into it, which will stay there. After surgery, I was up till like 7 in the morning, bawling, crying. It's 6am. I'm so tired. My hand's so sore. 
thought my hand was going to pop like a balloon. And that's, you know, I mean, I could go into more detail, but I really don't feel like you need it. It just was agony once the local anaesthetic wore off. And I wasn't able to take any proper painkillers until 24 hours later or something. So it was just awful. Tomorrow I can have proper painkillers. I'm going to fucking eat in your bed. <laughs> Inhale it. I could have just... I could, have, I could have smash it up and fucking snort it. <laughs> but now it's pretty good. Like, I don't really even need the sling, to be honest. I just use the sling because this is so heavy. There was one thing that I wanted to chat to you about. I was really quite, like, hurt to see that people commented on my posts announcing that I got selected for Ireland, which was a really long process and, like, a really long period of me working really hard to achieve that and then on the pictures of me actually playing for Ireland which again is the culmination of like seven months of work to be like get the finger spins ready or don't injure yourself don't hurt yourself watch your hands like that really did hurt me to be honest I really wish that people had just said congratulations or just said nothing it was even worse than when I did actually break a bone it just it feels really, really bad. I don't know if people quite understand like what a mental toll injuries take on you if sport is a big part of your life, but I really work hard to remain positive and take all these things in my stride and don't let it get me down. And I found that really, really hard to do this time around because of comments like that. Comments especially that were like, oh, it's almost Vlogmas time, you know, it's time for you to be in a sling, that sort of thing. It's like, that makes me, makes me not want to share that part of my life. It also makes me not want to do Vlogmas. It's getting to a point where it's really affecting me. So look, that's just how I'm feeling at the minute. I struggled with how to address this for a long time. You know, I tried ignoring it, I tried getting in on the joke. I didn't want to have to do this because obviously... If you're telling the internet something that hurts your feelings, uh, that's <laughs> that could backfire very badly. So I just hope that those of you who like enjoy these videos, who like hanging out with me, Alex and Millie, um, will take into account my feelings going forward on those kind of comments. But also, uh, just so you know, I'm never getting injured again. Yeah, so there's no need to comment that kind of stuff anymore, you know? Because I, I'm, I made a deal with the big man upstairs. He said if I come back to the church, that uh, it's never happening again, so. I sold my soul for more tag. Would that be the big man downstairs? Whatever. We're on our way to Alex's mom's house, bringing all the dogs over, and we're hoping that they'll have an easier night in her house than in our house. Last night was rough in our house. Lots of fireworks going off all night up the road. Alex says Millie was going a bit psycho there. I have no idea because I'm drunk, so I want to imagine. But he's like cradling her like a baby trying to make sure she was okay. I don't get why you like fireworks. Like, I don't get why people set off fireworks on Halloween. Like, I kind of get it on New Year's Eve when it's Darling Harbour in Sydney, where there's this big synchronized fireworks escapade. But like, why are you randomly setting off fireworks in South Dublin? Just, on Halloween night, makes no sense to me. It's like teenagers setting off bangers. Like, why? You know? It's like, why? The dogs are scared. Stop it. Alex, recreate the magic. Recreate the magic. Recreate the magic. Okay, happy Halloween. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. You made me a ball of Halloween treats. Yeah. Why so many nuts in it? The nuts are part of Halloween. Okay, it's like my scarf sling not kind of cool. I can't decide if my scarf sling looks really cool or kind of stupid. Uh, but... I don't have time, we gotta go. Thank you all so much for coming. I get a huge gold star if all the influencers in the room post, post, post. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding this. Um. <laughs>was quite cool. I got to meet Harry Magnotti there, who is a Olympic Ireland sevens player. And he asked me how I hurt my arm and I really enjoy telling him <laughs> that I did a plane tag rugby for Ireland although he was actually too humble he goes oh I actually play rugby too I was like I, I know <laughs> I'm very aware of this <laughs> so that was good and then Kira was there I was actually delighted to see Kira 
because I didn't know if she's gonna be there and I didn't know anyone. So before I go home, I wanna try and find a pair of boots because I'm in town and I don't know what I want for Christmas. And all the family's asking and Alex is asking. And I think I want a pair of like really obnoxious football boots. I'm gonna go around all the sports shops and see if I can find a set that really speaks to me in terms of how in your face they are. You just don't get the same sort of like feeling from them offline. I need to, I need to walk into a shop and see a pair of boots and go, oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's what I want. I'm waiting for my bus home now, but I've figured out what boots I'm gonna get. And I'm very excited. They are disgusting. <laughs> they are disgusting me in your face. The only thing is the adult ones like reflect in the dark. Whereas I don't think the kids ones do, so that's a bit shit, but the kids ones are 200 euro cheaper, so I can't really <laughs> go, for the, go for the adult ones. I've come to watch Alex play tag. And he's going to... What are you going to do tonight, Alex? Loads of assists? Who knows? Just defend. This is the kind of scintillating conversation we have before a game. Dead silence. Just getting into that. <laughs> We're super early for the game, but it's kind of cold outside, so... We're sort of sitting in the car. That was me, I set that off. <laughs> I moved and set it off. Idiot. Alexander! <laughs> Harsh, but fair. No, you can't call me an idiot. Idiot, buddy. Take it back. I don't know. Prepare yourself for some shy tag footage here. Right. Oh, Bob! Yeah. yeah, you're good there, Alex. You're good there. To the side. To the player. Shot. 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 